Good morning, everyone. I'm out in my backyard. Let me just do a real quick sweep here. Show you where I am. That's Juicy Fruit Island. And I call it Juicy Fruit Island because I have a pear tree, a peach tree, and some figs. Um, anyway, over here, uh, against the fence, that's my mango one mango tree there's another one further on down and they've been grown from seed but I wanted to show you this is a cluster of uh, amaryllis bulbs and I'm going to lift these today uh, I've done quite a few I have a playlist on uh, uh, taking care of amaryllis and I've told you the story that uh, back in January of 2008 uh, I had I bought five amaryllis bulbs uh, they had been ten dollars and they were on sale for 90 percent off I got them for uh, well I think they were not it was under a dollar anyway so my five dollar investment um, has turned into I've gotten I have probably a hundred and I've given a, a couple away and I still produce over and over and over but I want to show you how they are lifted and then separated so hang on okay so now I'm back and I'm going to first put my gloves on hoping you can see me let me just back this off just a little there I think you can get a better view at least you get the back of my head anyway. And what I usually do is um, I'll go ahead and clip the greens back. Now you can see these these all bloomed uh, earlier in the year. These were all my spring uh, flowers that come up and they're just beautiful. But these aren't going to produce another bloom like this. So I'm going to cut that back. Now this started out as one, this started out as one bulb. And then that one bulb started sending off babies. Give me just a minute here. Okay, I'm back. Now you can see that I've gone ahead and I trimmed off all of the tops. So to finish that story, to continue with it, uh, this one in the center, this would be the mother plant. And as I recall, excuse me, I just had my breakfast and it's kind of, don't want to be bending over like that. Anyway, I planted the one and then it started having little babies, like you see, they have a few around it. And so then I took that up and I divided it. A few years later, I mean, you really should lift them like every three or four years because they will send the babies off. I'll show you how they come up. But you'll see that they'll, they'll send babies out of the, the bottom. It's like the root... Uh, the roots go down and then you have you know roots around it but in between these layers it will sh it will shoot out little babies and so uh, probably six years ago I think I planted the one and I believe I planted like maybe maybe those four possibly and in the interim they've had one two three uh, four five six more so let me just put my my beautiful Falcos that Rick bought me, bought for me for my birthday in April. So I'll put those away. And I want to show you, you can take this, you know, you can try pulling them and, and what have you and trying to get all the root out. And it's so much easier and um, uh, less, less likely to harm the bulb if you have a pitchfork. Because then you can start lifting... The whole thing all around almost like you're taking up a plate you know kind of creating that little 
plate area. Oh, these guys are way in there. They're much more in there than I thought they were. You, you don't want to harm it because if you you stab that and I'm back again okay so now I've lifted this a little bit I was sorry but I have the camera here and I really didn't want to try and do that with the camera and I'm going to get down on one knee so hopefully you can hear me And if you, this is all connected. I mean, this is the mother, this is the mother plant. And she's just totally got all these babies around her. I think you can hear me, can't you? And that's it, you, you're gonna take these up like this. I mean, these are some gorgeous bulbs. That's the mother. And that's a fully independent baby. That didn't come even crack off of her. These are all grown on the side. But here's your big ones. And here's what I want to show you. And see how this was attached this one was attached you can see kind of still the flat side of it but it would have come out of here and it would have stayed attached until it was totally independent had its own set of roots all the way around some extra little ones these are now these are really the babies They would really take some coddling. Let's see if we have anybody else in there. Yeah, I can feel something's down here. Oh, look. I don't know. No, I think that's just a stone. Whoops. I'm not a good pitcher. Sorry. No, I think that's probably about it. But I want to show you now what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is um, collect these. Just shake off the dirt. Don't don't try to brush it off. Don't try to wash it off. Anything like that. And this is how I do it. When I'm talking about um, lifting them from the ground, pots are different. The same, but different, you know? Everybody's got their own way of doing it. So we had four big ones. We had one, two, three, oops, four, five. Well, I don't know which colors. Adolescent, six, seven, and then two babies. I mean, that's a nice amount. And so, what I'll do with these is um, I'll take them in. You know, I could let them sit out on the back porch uh, and, and dry and uh, just kind of dry on their own. And then, once they dry on their own, uh, I will come through and I'll take, uh, let me pull out one of the big ones. I'll take those and just trim the, that excess uh, root off. And I'll let all this uh, part that's going to dry, it's like an onion, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's a bulb like an onion. Anyway, I'll, I'll take this, it will dry by itself, 
and I'll cut those off like that and then um, and I'll cut my neck off not the whole way down but just you know leave about the, maybe an inch and then I'll go ahead and I'll let these dry over the winter uh, because I you know I, I could let it winter in and, and they would come back but I'm trying to actually separate these so that this one can now go someplace else by itself and start sending out new shoots and the reason I do that you probably you're wondering why why even bother then is because when they get this crowded then they start to slow down on their production like the fact that I had the original and then the one that I did for four five six years ago and I had four little ones if I had had those all in their own separate spot they would have produced more than seven or eight little ones they would I would have had much more multiplication by giving each one its own individual plot to then take off so that's that's all and and now what I can do is once I put this through its process of uh, slowing down let it dry out uh, let it you know we have a warm winter but we do have January it does get cool and and it gets downright cold and what I will do is I have these in plastic right now but I have some um, cardboard boxes and I'll go ahead and put like tissue paper or something in the bottom of that box and then I will just lay those bulbs once they're trimmed and everything and they've dried out a bit I'll go ahead and lay them in a box and I like to lay mine pretty much single layer and that way I really don't have as much of a problem with uh, like winter rotting and you know if you take those and you try to layer them in you know a big bin or you have them in plastic and and you haven't thought about uh, an absorption they are moist so you know they if you had it during the winter and you say you put it in your closet or attic or someplace and you said well I have a whole bunch of them and uh, and they were wet on wet then they're going to rot in there so if you want to do your own multiplication then it's always good to have them like any bulb um, you don't want to put it in a place that's going to be you know so hot and dry that it's going to kill the bulb but you want to have it so that it doesn't promote any mold I know it's it sounds tricky but you know what can I say it is it's gardening and uh, and that's that's about it I if you have any questions please ask me um, I do this so much on my own and uh, I, I'm not a I'm not a botanist so I've never really done the studying but um, I have done it for what is this now 16 years and I've I've had success every year and every year they've uh, multiplied for me uh, if I really want to push them and give them a single row then they really multiply quickly and if I don't then they're off they're fine on their own so anyway I, I'll just say bye for now and if you're interested in it like I said I do have a playlist so maybe go back and check that out so take care everybody and remember garden what you've got bye bye